and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shayla. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to be making some heirloom junk journal paper clips. Yes, um, we are going to be using some vintage paper um, in the heirloom portion, which you could definitely use photos of your family if you would like. Um, I'm going to actually be using this. This is a page from a 1940s yearbook. Um, and I just thought that the people on here, I love like the different photos. Some of them genuinely <laughs> look unhappy. Um, and it looks like, I don't know, are these the teachers? I'm not entirely too sure, but um, I just thought that this would be fun to play with, um, kind of Tim Holtz decorate these guys up. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, so we're going to be making some simple paper clips today. Um, I have, these are kind of my ingredients, if you will. Um, I have some paper clips. Of course, I have a plethora of them. I'll probably just be using the normal styled paper clips, either small or large. Um, I also have some vintage uh, words or paper um, with, you know, obviously words on it, text. There you go. Um, so I'll be using this kind of as my base. And then I have obviously some photos to cut out and use. Um, so we'll be using those as well as I do have some embellishments. Let's see if I can... I can kind of pan you, but I have some embellishments. I have like a little tower of embellishments, so I might pull for, from those as well. Um, I do also have this. It is a sample book. Really, really cool. Look at that. So I just thought I could maybe play with some textures too. Um, and it's like some sort of handmade paper. These are kind of see-through. They look like this. Isn't that super cool? So I thought that would be a good layering piece. So let's jump into it. So let me get a paper clip. I'm gonna start with a big one. These are two inch, two inch paper clips. Oh, and I just dropped it. Let me grab another one, two inch paper clip. Okay, so let me see how big, obviously I want it to be as big as my, you can do it shorter, but I do want it to be as big, so. We'll probably go right about there. So I'm going to cut, and I'm actually, because this paper is a little bit older, I'm just gonna tear it. Cause who needs to cut paper? All right. I'm gonna try and get right on the text there. Mm, that looks about straight. And just like that. All right, and I'm gonna tear the other side too because there's um, there's a lot of negative space. I hope y'all had a wonderful weekend. I guess when this comes out, it'll be Sunday. Um, a really big announcement. This probably should have been the first thing that I said, but I did reach a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Thanks to you all. So thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate y'all and I'm incredibly thankful. Um, I'm going to have to get together some sort of giveaway or something. So stay tuned in the future for that. But, oh, look at that. It says grasshopper pie. <clears throat> Let me zoom you in. There we go. So I did have to work today. So I'm just a little out of it. You know, you work and you're just tired. <laughs> so my apologies. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put my paper clip. It doesn't really matter which way, um, but I'm going to put my paper clip in there and then I'm just gonna kind of see how big that makes it. And I think I like that, I think that's fine. If you did want it to be the right side up, which we'll go ahead and do that. Let me, oh, I guess it doesn't matter, right? Okay, so we'll put that there and then fold it upwards. 
and I usually like to have the smaller side inside that I'll be gluing. Okay, there we go. All right, so we folded that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and glue it together and I am using Fabrifix. It is a clear silicone glue. I am not sponsored. I just really like the glue, um, but it holds really well for fabric and paper projects. And I might have to unclog it if it's being a little finicky here. We shall see. Seems like it's working okay. I feel like I'm squeezing the life out of him now. <laughs> uh, okay, hopefully that's good. And I would say using a stronger glue here definitely helps just because we're trying to adhere the paper and make a nice seal um, so that paper clip doesn't come out. So there we have it, just like that. So now I am gonna go ahead and ink up the edges here. Let me get my inker. Okay, and I don't know, tea dye might be kind of kind of light. We'll do vintage photo. I could also do black soot. These are uh, Distress inks or Oxides by Ranger Ink. Um, they work incredibly well at distressing edges or aging papers. Um, let me go ahead and get my dauber. All right, perfect. And I'm just using an ink dauber that apparently my cat loves to get these and drag them around my house at night. <laughs> Um, at one point when I just had them all out, I have, I have to put them in a drawer now. Um, she actually, I woke up one morning and there were six of these on the floor, just all throughout our apartment. So they have to go <laughs> in a drawer now. <laughs> My husband got tired of picking them up and I was really scared that he was going to throw them away. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, in the drawer they went. And now they're safe, but she does get into other things, so it's okay. The craft room is a fun place. If y'all have pets, do, you, do they also like the craft room? Okay, let me zoom you out just a little bit. So all I did is I just inked the edges a little bit just to give it some pizzazz. Um, now let's select our student or teacher maybe. I don't know, these, these young ladies and gentlemen looked so not young. Okay, and I'm cutting here. We're gonna go, I'm just gonna cut a few to start. Hopefully I'm cutting straight. That is always a struggle. Do y'all struggle with cutting in a straight line or is it just me? All right, let's see, perfect. Okay, so we have these two, oh, or these two. I was gonna go with that one because her smile is just so big. Um, it's gorgeous. So I'm just cutting it here. All right, and then I'm gonna ink that up as well. Okay, so now that we have that, I know it's like a really big um, photo. So let's see what we can decorate with because that was kind of the point. I wanted to make big ones and kind of showcase it. So let me see. I might do like, we might do some stamping. That looks fun. Let me grab my ink here. So I am using black soot, basically black. All right. And the only thing I'll say about the oxides is they tend to dry a little bit um, slower. So just be mindful of that. Okay. Let's see. I just need something to stamp 
underneath. I'll use this old magazine. How about that? Because I kind of want it off the page. All right, and we're stamping. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, so let's do another stamp. I kind of want to do one like right here. So cool. So we have that. I think that's good. Um, and let's see. What if we did like a cool, I know I have this too, which I wanted to play with. So maybe we could do that. That would be neat. Okay, let's cut this. Okay, that's sort of straight. And I'm just gonna put it, I think, right there. And kind of even hang it off if I wanted to. So let me just cut it a little bit. Okay. Can go like that. I like that a lot. Okay. So I'm just gonna put a little bit down because I don't want this to super bleed through. Let me see if I can kind of unstick it a little. Sorry. Just trying to get my glue going so it's a little easier. And, okay. Okay. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of smoosh the glue down because I'm just concerned about it possibly showing a lot of bleed. Okay. There we go. All right, so we have that. That looks super cute, right? And then I think I wanna put another piece right there. Maybe like, And you could always use like decorative tissue paper if you don't have like, you know, what <laughs> this we random weird thing that I have. Um, you could definitely use tissue paper or decoupage paper or even napkins. Um, that would kind of give a cool layered effect. Okay, so I think right here and then I'm going to put like a label or something. Um, so let's glue that down. All right, and we'll glue that right there and it'll kind of have like a little flap to it. And what I'm gonna do is cut it. So that way it has like a cute little flap. Look at how adorable that is. Oh my goodness. Let me just trim this. I'm trying to make it even. There we go. So far, so good. And then let me get, where was that photo? So we'll do her photo, maybe like right there or right here. And then we could do, okay, I like it right there. Let me get my labels bin out. So I have like a bin and it says blank labels and frames. And we can pick out some sort of cute label. Oh my gosh, isn't that adorable? Okay, let's ink that up. And it says photographer's notes on it. That is so cute. Okay, so just like that, nice and grungy. And Maybe what we could do is it can kind of cover, because it is a little long, but I think I'm okay with that. I really like it, so 
Let's put it on. All right. So we'll go ahead and smack that one on there. Try and make it slightly straight. There we go. Super cute. Oh my goodness. And then I do want to put her photo, like, should it be like that? Or like that, maybe? Okay, I, I like it just in the middle like that. So let's do that next. Sorry to the person on the other side. I always feel bad. That's okay. You both shall live on. See, you live on, both of you, in my video. So there you go. I always think it's crazy, like, if I use old photos or something, you know, what if someone's like, that's my, you know, great aunt or something. Oh, look at this. It's like it was meant to be. Oh, what do you think? I love it. Let's do that. Should I put a label? Hold on. Let's. Do we like that? I kind of like that. Let's ink up the label. Got to ink up everything. It is vintage after all. And then we'll glue that one down. Okay. Put that down. And then let's go ahead and put this butterfly. And I think that will complete that one. There we go. Look at how adorable that is. That's our first heirloom and it is a paper clip. So you can put it on, um, you know, a paper in your journal. So isn't that so cute? So much fun. Okay. And now let's go ahead and make another one. I kind of want to get like three of these done on camera. So let's see if we can do it. Okay. This is the next one. Look at her hair. Should we do her or him? I kind of like him. Let's do him. Okay. And this one we can make, I'll show you like a smaller one too. Um, so let's get our paper clip. All right. And I like to kind of Okay, so let's do the upside down thing, which is this way. And I'm gonna scoot it over a little. So that way I can fold it this way, just like that. So instead of folding it upwards like I did last time to make like a wider one, um, I'm folding it to the side and I just moved the paper clip to the side like that. So there you go. And actually, let's flip it over here because I like the smaller side on the inside. So there's that. And then now I can see where he'll fit. Um, okay, let me, <laughs> let me move it to the other side because I'm not folding it upwards. I'm confusing myself. Okay, there we go. So now I can see where he will fit. And I'm okay with this side because I think I'm going to do something with it. So he can probably go like right here maybe. So that means we could cut it like right here. So let me get my tearing ruler. Uh, this is just a Westcott ruler. Um, it didn't cost me really anything on Amazon. So it's a great ruler. I highly recommend. Okay. So here it is. I just fold it in half. Again, if you wanted something a little more sturdy, you could definitely like put a piece of chipboard in between here or something. Um, but I'm okay with the way it is. It is fine. I'm not going to put it through any sort of crazy strenuous test. So, um, so yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness, today for lunch I had these Al Pastor tacos, which were amazing. 
Um, that's my favorite, I think, type of taco, like to order somewhere. And they were so good and they came with cilantro and onions on it and some sauce. Um, it was very, very good. Okay, I think I want him to go in the corner like that. <laughs> I'm putting him in the corner. Okay, I'm gonna ink this one up too. And I could definitely ink up the back if I wanted to as well. There we go, it is nice and grungy. And so he's gonna go here, but I think before that, let's see, I wanna look through, I want one of these. What color? I kinda like the electric green one. Maybe we do the red, this is pretty. Okay, although does it look too holiday? It might look too holiday. We'll do green, how about green? And I'm just going to cut a strip off as best as I can. Okay. And I want it to go like right here. That was my plan. So. All right. Let me just cut it. A little bit extra off. Okay. Or maybe it should go like right here and then his photo. Kind of like that. I'm playing with it. I don't know what it is about this paper. It's, um,. Like I can't find the spot where it, I feel like it looks good. I guess that looks good, right? I just feel like I cut so much of it off. Okay, let's go ahead and do some stamping first. Um, I have this stamp. It's just a bunch of letters. So let's try to do that first. And then we'll layer. Usually, like, if you just start doing layers, you can kind of get a good, um, you know, you can get a pretty good end result. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and give it an old... There we go. And... I think what I could do, let's see, I have this, it's Tim Holtz Ideology Salvage Sticker, so I'm going to see if there's something maybe I can use that could make it, um, you know, pop a little bit. Oh, I kind of like this, butterflies and moths. All right, so here's that. So what if I did that? And then we did this like that. Ooh, there it is. Okay, I like that. Okay, you just gotta play with it. See, there you go. Sorry, I was so <laughs> quiet, I was focused. <laughs> I was focused. So I'm just going to glue, put some glue down on the sky. Okay. And we're just going to smack them down. And then I'll just cut off the excess here. There we go. Just like that. And you're like, but that's it? No. Let me cover this up. All right. He's going to go right here. Okay. And 
then we'll put him down. All right, and then last but not least, we're gonna put the butterfly, or it's a moth, I'm sorry. The moth. There we go. And I could, if I wanted to, put like a little word or something. Um, ooh, I got, I have these words. They're like, they're like little scrapbooky words. But I could just put one on there. Um, how about memories? That might be too long. Or wait, let's try it. Maybe down here. What do we think? That's kind of neat. Okay, let's just do it. All right. Perfect. Look at that. That's so cool. And it has that kind of silvery look to it. Very, very neat. Second paper clip done. Okay. So we've done one and I lost the second, the first one. <laughs> oh, two. here we go. One and two. Let me set these off to the side here. Um, okay. And let's do one more. This one I'm going to try and do like a little strip of people. I think that would be so cool. And this guy like has been staring me down. So we're definitely going to use him. Let's go ahead and cut these out. And hopefully y'all can hear me. Okay. I try and keep my mic close by. So these definitely have to be professors. They look too, you know, they look too professory. I don't know. <laughs> So we have a strip here. Isn't that cool? It kind of looks like one of those photo booth strips. Which, speaking of which, we can play with. Okay, so taking our paper clip, I'm gonna do a long strip one again, just cause I have that. Um, and I kind of wanna hold it the other way. So there we go. Perfect. And let me see how long these guys are going to be. Okay, so probably like right, oh, I'm sorry, probably like right there. I'll go ahead and cut. And I'm just going to give it a chop here. There we go. So now we have that. And let's go ahead and ink it up. Ink it up, ink it up. Okay, don't come after me. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice too if you ink up the edges because you can see like the torn edge like the little fibers paper fibers I will say this paper is slightly on the brittle side but you know when I glue it it obviously like gets a little bit stronger because I'm reinforcing it so all right and then now that I've inked that up, I am going to do my placement. So because this reminds me of like a film strip, I do actually have, and this is from Tim Holtz. Um, where is it? Here it is. It's like Tim Holtz, I don't know. Look up Tim Holtz film strip or something. So I have some of that. And... We are going to play with it because I've actually never used this. <laughs> so I get to use it with you. Okay. All right. Oh my goodness. Look at how amazing that is. Let's cut a piece off. Okay. And we'll play with it here. So I'm thinking... Maybe all right. I 
Oh, I got it. Okay. So we're going to do it like this, kind of hanging off the edge. And then I'll do like a small piece here. But I do want to add some sort of texture or something underneath. So let's start there. Um, ooh. And I want it to kind of make sense. I mean, I could do random. That's totally fine. I could definitely go for this one that's calling my name. <laughs> that's fine. Um, ooh, that's so pretty. Okay. Yeah, we definitely have to use that. It's like a Hawaiian film festival. And this, this was the alumni, you know? That's what I'm thinking. Okay. And if I go like that and just kind of stagger them a little bit. I think that looks kind of neat, huh? Maybe move it over just a bit. And then I can put something on the top. I don't know. Maybe not that. Maybe that's a little too much. I do have these. They're like air mail, I think, or something. So I could do like, you know, one of these. What do we think of that? That's kind of cool. Okay, let's do that. Let me go ahead and I'm actually going to scoot that up. Is this just one? It looks like it's printed on both. Okay. Okay glue and I want it right about there okay all right and I didn't ink this up but that's fine the contrast is fine I definitely don't mind that Okay, there is that piece. Oh, probably be nice if I glued the, the inside. <laughs> Can you tell I had work today? <laughs> I love my job, don't get me wrong. But I definitely am a little tired after work, my husband knows. Okay, I'm sure just like any person who goes to work is. So there's that. And then I will be cutting this or trimming this off. Let's see. Perfect. And I might go back and uh, distress the edge. All right. So there's that. And where did my people go? Here we go. I'm going to have them right about here, I think. And then we'll put this on here. But first, let's do a little stamp. I'm just going to use this number stamp again. This is actually called Down for the Count. And it is, I guess, printworkscollection.com. Um, and where did my, oh, here it is my ink pad all right and I'm just gonna go for it this time well okay on second thought maybe not there we go there we go it's not perfect but that's okay and let's ink up these guys All right, we're gonna put one of them, put them down here. Sorry, people on the other side. <laughs> okay, and let's go ahead and place them. Okay, there they are. And now we get to put this on. So this, um, because it is see-through, I'm just going to try to be a little um, less generous with my glue. 
So let me just kind of put it, you know, on the edges here. Okay, got that. Perfect, look at that. Isn't that fun? Okay, so we're not done though. I'm gonna get, I have another bin and it's called labels because these are things that already have writing on them. And I want to put something. Ooh, wouldn't that be fun? Just like. I don't know why I like that so much. These are really cool. They're vintage um, coat cards. So I love that though. Okay. I have these little, I think these are like faux vintage. Too many faces. I also have these cigar labels. That would be kind of cool because there's like a bunch of men on here. So what if I did... I feel like it's just too much. Ooh, I kind of like that. Okay, we'll do that. So let me go ahead and glue it. Okay. Perfect. And then I do think we need like a word or something just to kind of tie it all in. Um, so let's see what we can kind of drum up here. Let's see. I'm going back to the Tim Holtz here. Seeing if there's anything worth using. I don't think I'm going to find it in there, but that's okay. I have my little words right here. Maybe I could put, um, Cheers. That might be fun. Oh, that says cherish. <laughs> That's also fun. Okay. Let me put that down. All right. And I think we will call that one done. Super fun. All right, let's pull them all together so we can show what we made. All right, so we made some fun heirloom clips today. I want to say thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I do know that, um, you know, I you've been following me from the beginning or if you're new i just want to say thank you so much um i did hit like i said my thousand subscribers which makes me super super happy um again i am so incredibly thankful for you um you know i always listen to your comments and everything I'm trying not to get choked up here <laughs> um and i just want to say thank you for the support it does mean the world to me um, to know that the things that I'm putting out there, you know, people are receiving and receiving well. Um, I do wish you guys nothing but the best in all of your endeavors, whether they're crafty or not. Um, and I just want to say thank you. Uh, like I said, it means a lot. Um, so feel free to like this video if you do like it. I definitely will have more videos out as well on the way, in the works, <laughs> coming out soon. Um, and then, of course, if you haven't subscribed, why not join the family? Leave me a comment or a question. If you have any questions, crafty or not, I'll do my best to answer. Um, but thank you so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And until the next one, stay crafty. Bye.